President-elect Donald Trump has taken on a new target, defense spending. You look at the F-35 program, with the money, the hundreds of billions of dollars, and it's out of control. But just why is the F-35 program being targeted? And can a President Trump really control the costs or cancel the program? It wouldn't be the first time. When President Obama took office, he canceled the order for F-22s after only 187 of the planned 750 planes had been built. They concluded the F-22s were more sophisticated than they needed and were very expensive to fly. The F-35 has become something of a case study in military overspending. The stealth planes are touted as the most capable and technologically advanced jet fighters in the world. But the cost has more than doubled from the original estimate. The price is now $400 billion for the 2,400 jets the Pentagon plans to purchase over the next two decades. The cost skyrocketed due to design problems and technological improvements. The helmets alone cost $400,000. But the Pentagon has defended the jet and has said that costs were being brought under control. The U.S. has already received around 200 F-35s and made the first ones operational in July of 2015. It's unclear what impact Trump could have on the cost of the F-35s beyond publicly shaming the company. Lockheed says it already earned slimmer profit margins on the F-35s than existing planes like the F-16, and has pledged to control costs through higher production rates and negotiating with suppliers. That said, there could be room for some improvement with future programs. Procurement experts have said the Pentagon has failed to adequately force bidders into competition with working prototypes before selecting a winner.